So guys, make sure to stand till the end because if you make one common mistake, you may end up spending thousands of dollars on parts, diagnostics that you may need. Make sure to stand till the end, we will explain what it is. Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a dot Challenger that generation here from year 2014 to year 2024. If you guys have a problem where the uh, AC air conditioner blows hot air on the driver's side dash vent but cold air on the passenger side dash vent, stay with us. We'll explain what can cause that guys, how you can fix it, where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, realize at a good price, quick shipping that way do not waste money and time why it's always a good idea to test fuses and realize all that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience please make sure to stay until the end so before we start guys let us tell you a little bit about us every single car we get here at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos we take them completely apart we show you how to fix transmissions engines bodywork electrical components fuses relays why we do all that guys because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep making these free videos we have guys more than 15,000 free repair videos on our youtube channels that can practically guys save you thousands of dollars in future repairs and if you need to buy parts tools at a good price quick shipping we'll put the links in the description of the video below for your convenience so guys if the ac blows hot warm air on the driver's side dash air vent what can cause that we will demonstrate on this generation dot challenger right here guys multiple things can cause that we will talk about it but uh guys the first thing that you want to check is your climate control fuses now uh then we'll explain what else causes it but quick reminder most people do not know where all the hidden fuse boxes are located in that dot challenger so we recommend to check out the video on our youtube channel about um, uh, fuse box or dot challenger fuse box location check it out guys first you need to open the hood and when you open the hood facing the engine on the left side here is the passenger side you have a fuse box press these two tabs open that cover and you'll find the fuse box with a layout like this one here before we continue let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and realize it is guys very important to test fuses and relays on those fuses you cannot clearly see if they're burnt or not especially you can see in the jk's fuses as well and if you guys assume okay you, let's say you remove a fuse you look at it and you assume guys that it's a, actually a, a good fuse but it's actually a bad fuse sometimes you cannot clearly see that what can easily happen guys at that point uh, you can uh, uh, put the bad fuse in and you start replacing parts and tools that you don't need to so you lose your time you lose your money to fix a problem that doesn't exist when all we had to do is test the fuse and replace it we'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses how to check relays very easily as well guys so uh, check it out it will be in the description of the video below so guys what we need to check first fuses that we'll explain what else can cause that please make sure to stand till the end we want to share one good advice with you that way you do not end up being stuck in the middle of nowhere like it happened to us guys and here if we zoom in a little bit the fuses that we need to check multiple fuses that we need to go to a different fuse box first we're talking about fuse number guys 12 which is that fuse right here you need to check fuse number 39 and you need to check guys relay 43 right there then you need to open the trunk on your door challenger on the very back lift the carpet liner up underneath you have the spare tar car battery behind it you have a fuse box that's a closer look press this tab open that cover and you're going to find that fuse box here specifically guys here we need to check fuse number 15 right there then here let's zoom in a little bit uh, here guys you see that fuse 25 next to it that's fuse number 32 it's a 15 amp fuse check that fuse very important fuse next you need to check fuse number 53 which is that 10 amp fuse right here and <coughs> you want to guys uh, check relay 71 this one right here as well now other things you may need to check your climate control switch to make sure that it works correctly that it changes the temperature you may have a bad climate control sensor that's the temperature sensor in the cabin that detects how hot or how cold it is but usually if it goes bad you'll be able to scan the system and find that you have a problem but nine out of ten times guys will be that device right here this is known as a blend door actuator 
it attaches to a flap and it regulates the temperature from hot to cold. Now, on the inside, it has plastic gears right here that wear out, crack, they start skipping the, or the motor burns and it doesn't work anymore or it works only sometimes and as a result it may get stuck in the wrong position when you turn it on AC it may be still on hot on heater and when you turn it to a heater setting it may be stuck in air conditioner setting so bed blender actuator will be 9 out of 10 times causing that problem if you want to see how to test uh, blender actuator if you want to know the symptoms of uh, bed blender actuator we have the videos on the channel that will guys teach you how to do that step by step so guys, this Dot Challenger has all kinds of different fuses and uh, relays. Those could be really hard to find if you're in the middle of nowhere. We'll guys put a link in the description of the video below where you can get some spare ones put in the glove box because one time we needed a spare, we couldn't find one and we were stuck in the middle of nowhere because of that, guys. Uh, hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.